Natasha, my sister. After all this time, what brings you home? I'm on the run. I was trying to do something good. Be more than just a trained killer. You're fooling yourself. We are still both trained killers. We have unfinished business. Who's we? Still fits, hmm? Family. Back together again. You got fat. It's merely water, Wayne. There's a new world of widows. New enemies. I'm done running from my past. Black Widow's multi-layered and, you know, motivated and determined, and she has an arc. I would love to take this character in every different direction. I'm always picking up after you, boys. The possibilities are really endless. Before I worked for S.H.I.E.L.D., I made mistakes. But I'm done running from my past. Very few actors can say that they've worked on a character for 10 years and then have this chance to delve deep into this person. We have to go back to where it all started. There's one movie people have been asking us to make for a very long time, more so than any other film. The Black Widow movie. I'm just excited to see the real Black Widow. She's not a classic hero because she has a dark past. What brings you home? We have unfinished business. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my brand new Black Widow trailer video. There's a whole bunch of new footage. We get a much better look at Taskmaster versus Black Widow, so we'll break it all down. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the Easter egg videos. We're doing a movie ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave all your predictions about the Black Widow movie. So this footage is mostly focusing on Black Widow's family, her going home, quote unquote, to Budapest. There's this theme of her two different families. Like she talks about her new family, the Avengers, that she got later after she joined S.H.I.E.L.D. Most of the events of this movie, because it's a flashback, will be about the family that she got when she was part of the Red Room, Black Widow program. They jump all over the timeline, but I think that most of you have probably got a sense for where she is based on the different costumes that she wears. Like the very classic looking comic booky Black Widow uniform with the gold gauntlets seems like it's from very early in the timeline before she joined S.H.I.E.L.D. Then all the scenes with them in the white uniforms is from later when they go to destroy the Red Room program in Siberia here during the big third act battle. So if you're ever confused about where she is in the timeline and when certain scenes are taking place, what year, just think about the costumes that she's wearing during them. But at the beginning of the footage, she quote unquote goes home to Budapest and it even seems like she used to live in this apartment building because she has what looks like a secret compartment where she stashed a gun a long time ago and she's just going to get it before she goes to meet with Yelena Belova. There are a couple different scenes of what seems like this apartment building too. Like there's a fight scene where someone blasts through the ceiling and comes down in, but she's wearing her old Black Widow uniform. So it seems like it's a flashback and not connected to these scenes of Yelena Belova talking to her. Yelena Belova literally calls her sister, but I've seen so many news outlets getting this idea wrong. They're not literal biological sisters. As far as we know, Natasha doesn't have any biological brothers or sisters. Their sisters, like the Avengers, become brothers in arms. They become like a family. They're not literal biological family. She says she's on the run. You see what looks like a giant team of SWAT agents trying to catch her at a train station still in the United States. So these are all probably happening right after the events of Captain America Civil War. Like she had that voiceover dialogue with Thunderbolt Ross in the last trailer about what her plans were, what she was going to do next. They show you that she's also on the run when she's back in Budapest from the brand new Black Widows. Like later in the trailer, she talks about there being a new generation of Black Widows when they show all these scenes of them training. So if it wasn't clear, this chick on the roof with the sniper rifle is just one of many brand new Black Widows. 
There's some scenes later in the trailer that make it seem like she also tried to destroy the Black Widow program in the flashbacks, so I'll explain that in a second too. My guess is, is that's probably why the Red Room wants her dead and they're sending all these Black Widows after her in present day because she tried to do something in the past to get rid of them. She tells Yana Belova that she was trying to do something good, be more than just a trained killer. She's talking about how she got herself into trouble during Captain America's Civil War and right now her mission in Budapest and Russia is a continuation of that idea to take down the Red Room and end the Black Widow program permanently. There's also this idea that Yelena Belova is kind of like a little sister to her, a surrogate little sister. So through her actions, she's trying to teach her that she can also be more than that, be more than a trained killer. Yelena Belova is being a little more cynical about it. No, you're wrong. We're just trained killers. That's all we are. I think part of her arc during the film is going to be realizing that, no, I can be good too. In eventually early prediction, after the events of Avengers Endgame, she will take the mantle of Black Widow and carry on her legacy in a slightly different way. She won't be the same type of Black Widow that Natasha was. There's this really brief but really funny moment though when they're all trying to talk about what their plans are, what they're going to do next, and she walks out of what looks like the most hardcore weapons locker that she's assembled in this small apartment building. Just look at the small arsenal that she has. They do a bunch of jump cuts, but like I said, I think this is a flashback and it might wind up being Hawkeye versus Black Widow in Budapest because they keep referencing Budapest. You remember Budapest very differently during the course of the Avengers movie. I think at some point there's going to be a Hawkeye cameo and it'll be a reference to what actually happened when he and her were together in Budapest sometime way before the events of Marvel Phase 1. So obviously there's all this stuff happening in present day with Yelena Belova in Budapest, but I think that we'll also see another flashback before Marvel Phase 1 and it's connected to her wearing this classic uniform with the gold gauntlets. She references her family having unfinished business. Then you see a bunch of new scenes of Red Guardian wrecking some of the other Russian prisoners in this Siberian prison. The way David Harbour talks about his character is that he says that he's a failed version of Captain America. He was supposed to be this grand experiment. Russia was so proud to create him. And for whatever reason, he wound up being this big failure. So it's not clear why he was thrown in this Siberian prison. Maybe he rebelled against them. Maybe he just didn't do a good job or didn't live up to their expectations. So we'll lock you in prison for the next 10 to 15 years and just throw away the key and forget about you. David Harbour also revealed that the Red Guardian character was kind of like a surrogate father to Natasha growing up. So I guess that makes Rachel Weisz's character her surrogate mother. You also see some new scenes of her in one of the white Black Widow uniforms in what seems like the big third act battle when they go to the Red Room program to blow it up later. You get a whole bunch of footage from that bridge fight scene of Black Widow versus Taskmaster. This is actually really badass. I believe it comes a little earlier in the film before you see Taskmaster fighting Red Guardian later when they're in Siberia. He looks way better with the hood up. He's fighting with his sword and his shield here. Obviously, this is a reference to Captain America using his shield. So remember, Taskmaster instantly learns everyone's moves. Because he's using Captain America moves, like that's what this shield throw is supposed to be a reference to. Like, oh wow, he's clearly studied Cap's moves. But when did that happen? A lot of people are confused about this. Taskmaster doesn't need to physically fight someone to learn their moves. He could actually just watch footage of Captain America and learn his moves that way. So Taskmaster could literally have just watched all this archival footage of the different Avengers characters fighting and that's how he learned their moves. You also notice too, she lands a couple headshots during their fight, direct headshots up close range, but because he's wearing his special helmet, they just bounce right off. I love the look on her face too when she realizes that he's copying her moves like what the hell is this guy's deal? A lot of people still wondering who the secret identity of Taskmaster is. I seriously think that it's this guy here. They brought him up on stage at Comic Con, said he was a main character, but refused to say what the name of his character he was playing was going to be. They're just calling him quote unquote Mason. But I think that's going to be a fake name and they'll have some way of explaining Taskmaster MCU's backstory and weaving it in with the history of the Black Widow program so that he has some sort of history with them. But I am hoping that they leave Taskmaster alive at the end of the movie so that he could potentially join some sort of Thunderbolt project or even a Dark Avengers team in the future. All these scenes of her flying through this giant explosion mid-air while being chased by these other people all seems like it's happening in flashbacks because she's still wearing the old Black Widow costume with the gold gauntlets. Then during that behind the scenes clip, Scarlett Johansson talks about taking the character in a bunch of different directions going forward. That doesn't mean that she's coming back to life after Avengers Endgame. That just means that there's potential for them to do more Black Widow sequels, but they'd also be set during the past during some other part of her timeline. 
they could theoretically do more sequels if the first movie is successful, but they could also do Disney Plus series. I'd personally rather see them do a Disney Plus series if they want to do a bunch of Black Widow stories, but I'm not going to hold my breath on any kind of Black Widow sequels. There's way too many other new characters they need to introduce, like the new Deadpool characters, X-Men, Fantastic Four characters. I'd rather see those movies before they think about doing any more Black Widow sequels. But what'll happen is, is I have a bunch more Morbius Spider-Man videos coming later this week. There's a bunch more Marvel stuff. The finale of Crisis on Infinite Earths is also happening tonight, so I'll be doing episode videos for that. Congratulations, Tyrone Long. You're the giveaway winner from my last big Marvel video. Please email me on the About page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Everyone, click here for the brand new Morbius trailer with the Spider-Man scene and that very special cameo. And click here for my new Avengers Iron Man Marvel Phase 4 announcement video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.